FDIC in Indianapolis, and we're going to take you inside of Melbourne, Indiana's truck. We're going to walk around. I'm here with Tony Crum, who's the sales rep for this apparatus. He works for Pencare. He's our dealer here in the state of Indiana. So, Tony, can you tell me a little bit about this truck, some of the unique features on this truck? Well, the, the truck is very unique. Um, this is the customer of what's very first body. So he came to us with a few ideas and said, hey, this is what we want to accomplish with this truck. What do you guys do? The first thing you can notice is on the inside there's no CPRC. That's probably the most unique thing on this truck. They said, hey, we don't ever use the CPRC. We either buckle equipment there. It's just something that we've always had to have in the past. And we went to them and said, okay, let's let's make a compartment from the outside. What can we do on the inside? So there's a dry erase board on the outside. Let me walk you around this way. From the outside. So from the exterior, it comes with a slide-out okay. tray that they can either mount turnout gear on or, in their case, they're going to put hydraulic tools. So be able to have the extrication tools as part of the truck and close from the outside. It's got two brackets up here on the top that they can hook bunker gear, anything that they need to in there. Um, they can also utilize you know, the door if they want to mount anything on the back side. So, this compartment here also enclosed from no, the outside right. could hold turnout gear any other components that they want we put it the inverter down below for the cover over the inverter the air pump here for the air compressor for the air horns also with the cover so they could throw bumps up here anything on top of that um, front compartment here put their scba so they can put their gear on go to the truck go to the scba kind of lock in so that's, that's some of the unique features that we did for them to make this more of a firefighting friendly agent. So those are unique, they're not standard features yes. with Braun. Yes, so one thing with Braun is being the custom builder that we are, we're able to accommodate those types of requests from fire departments or different agencies that want to lay the ambulance out. So, um, some more things you could tell us? Sure, absolutely. Let's go. Let's go take a look at the inside of the truck. So I'm going to go a little Facebook live. Oh, yeah, man. Say, 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 oh, say hi. Say hi. Witness protection program. So, so from the inside, you'll see that they did the striker power load. So look for more safety inside the vehicle. Also use more user-friendly for the crew. So the power load, as, as many people have seen, absolutely pulls out of the truck, mounts in. We've mounted the power load on this side of the truck since they weren't utilizing the space for the CPRC. Gave them an extra area here, second action area that they could put uh, any components if they need to. ALS cabinet uh, here at the head of the flood bench. Sorry, Jason. No, you're fine. And then we also put a refrigerator down here. So if they need to utilize med medication, drugs, they've got that. If they want to have cold water on the fire station. Um, one of the things that they were a little worried about was communication between the front and the back of the truck. So we put this fire comm intercom system in here to be able to talk back and forth between the, uh, between the cab. So that's, uh, that's kind of the inside. All right. Well, thank you very much, Tony. We appreciate your time today. Thank you for all the great work you do in Indiana. Not a problem. sales you do. And uh, we're going to cut it off here and see you next year. All right. Thank you.